Good evening, everyone. I am Jessica Heron with AmeriCruising with Oils, and I'm excited to talk to you tonight. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to see. <clears throat> I need to find my, um, let's see. Where can I go? I need to make sure that I can see the comments. So I forgot to put this on. Why isn't this working? Oh, okay, and home and refresh. Maybe this will give people time to come on. So if you are joining me, um, say hello. And I just want to make sure that I can see comments this time because I totally missed out on them last time. And I don't want to miss out. So hopefully this will work. Okay. All right. So tonight we're going to be talking about um, weight loss. <laughs> and I've got some um, tips for you. Let me move this over so that I can... Shoot, I have too many things going here. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So wouldn't it be nice if you could just snap your fingers and poof, that weight would be gone. But alas, it doesn't happen that way. So uh, let's look at some things that we can do to make um, our weight loss journeys, because I'm on it too. <laughs> feel like I've been on it my whole life, but uh, let's make our weight loss journeys easier. So the things that I'm gonna tell you about tonight are the things that I do, and I'm not always consistent with it. I um, am the first to admit that I get lazy. I get um, tired of doing the same things over and over again things like that. So I'm really working this year on sticking to my goals. And um, that doesn't make it any easier. It's just, it is what it is. So um, I'm going to give you some tips tonight. Um, the top four things that you need to do to um, put your body into weight loss mode. And then um, uh, we're going to make some rollers. And about it okay so we're gonna talk about tips and rollers um so number number one tip for losing weight um, is relaxation uh, relaxation is really really important for your body functions and the reason is because um, when you, there's two two ways that your body sits in and one is um, basically stress mode um, and that's called sympathetic mode, um, where you're on high alert, your adrenaline is flowing, um, things like that. Um, your body is producing a hormone called cortisol to help protect you and to help you manage the stress. And then um, the other side of the coin is parasympathetic mode, and that's when you're relaxed. That's when your body can function um, at its top functioning way and uh, that's the easiest place to lose weight when you're in sympathetic mode your body wants to hold on to the weight to protect itself when it's not when you're relaxed then your body doesn't feel the need it feels safe so it doesn't feel the need to uh, hold on to that extra weight so cortisol is the is nature's built-in alarm system basically and I wonder if I can go like this. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, it's your body's main stress hormone. Cortisol is. It works with certain parts of your brain to control your mood, your motivation, your fear, all those things. It helps you deal with stress. Your adrenal glands, which are um, back here right above like, your kidneys, so feel for your hip bones, go a little bit above that, and then they're right there. And uh, they're triangle-shaped organs at the top of your kidneys, and they are what make cortisol. So uh, it's best known for helping you fuel your body's fight-or-flight instinct in a crisis, but it also plays a really important role in a number of other things that your body does, other functions. For example, it manages how your body uses carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, which is really important while you're trying to lose weight, of course. It keeps inflammation down, which it 
sounds weird because when you're in stress mode for a long period of time, then you can have more inflammation, but that's, that's a different, um, that is different than um, stress at good times, stress when it's needed. Uh, it regulates your blood pressure. Um, if you're here, to say hello, um, and hopefully I will be able to see. Um, I think that's Jackie. Awesome. Okay, I can see that. Cool. Um, it regulates your blood pressure. It increases your blood sugar, your glucose amounts when needed. It controls your sleep-wake cycle, and it boosts your energy so you can handle stress and restores balance afterwards. So that kind of stress they're talking about is um, like when you're exercising. When you're exercising, you're putting stress on your body. It's a good kind of stress, of course, and um, the ideal the ideal way is to exercise and then rest afterwards so you get into balance. Uh, too much stress can lead to many health problems, of course, including anxiety and depression, headaches, heart disease, memory and concentration problems, <clears throat> digestive and sleep problems, and then especially weight gain, of course. So let's talk about some oils that you can that can help you with stress. I didn't actually get all my oils, but oh well, I'll just talk about them. Uh, actually, I want to get my um, balance. Where is my balance? Of course, the one that I wanted is not over there. And it's nowhere to be found. I don't know where it's at. <clears throat> huh. Oh, I move oils around and then I can't find them and then I, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so um, I just want to make sure there's no comments. Okay. So the number one oil... <clears throat> that is going to help with everything, um, dealing with the stress and also, oops, also um, just, you know, healthy functioning of your body in general is Copaiba. So Copaiba um, really goes to work right on the nervous system itself. And of course you have nervous system all over throughout your body. So it is helpful for calming um, and relaxing and putting your body into that parasympathetic mode. Um, you can take one drop under your tongue morning and evening. I'm going to do that right now because I didn't today. Okay. And it tastes good. I like the flavor of it. <clears throat> and it is calming, but it's not like making you fall asleep calming. Um, it is more like just helping you relax and not feel so stressed out. Uh, let's see, so that's uh, for daily support. You can put it under your tongue. You can, um, they found, they, it's really great for pain as well because it's working on your nervous system. And they found that if you're using it for pain, it works better if you take it internally than using it like topically on the spot. The next best um, oil to use is the adaptive line. Um, adaptive oil or the capsules or you can get it in a pre-made um, touch roller that's already diluted uh, whichever one you choose or using all three uh, gives an increased sense of calm mental sharpness and productive thoughts so that you can be better handled or better equipped to handle stressful situations this stuff is amazing I have this little brochure if you want one of these I can send it to you um, that really talks goes in detail um, talks about how it works and um, you know times to be using it and um, ways to use it and so um, if you're trying to lose weight then cravings themselves can be stressors because you can feel like you're not getting enough or you can feel like um, well you can feel like you aren't enough um, and that puts stress on your body those negative thoughts put stress on your body and you don't want that so um, just inhaling, oh, um, I was just going to mention that the 
um, capsules, they combine clinically studied botanicals with a blend of essential oils to help manage the effects of stress and anxious feelings. And then um, using, whether you're using the oils or the capsules, they give you an increased sense of calm. They give you an increase in mental sharpness. Um, they give you um, more calm and productive thoughts. And like I said, they help you be better equipped to handle those um, daily stressors. When um, So just inhaling a drop of, or you know, putting a drop in your hand um, and inhaling from your cupped hands, which I guess I probably don't have adaptive up here either. <laughs> I'm going to use Siberian fur. <laughs> okay, so just pretend this is adaptive. And um, so when you're stressed, you can just put a drop in your hand and inhale. And it, it, you can feel it go into your lungs and you can feel it go into the rest of your body. Um, one of my very, very, very favorite oils for stress busting is balance and like I said I couldn't find it but Siberian fur um, I'm going to talk about some other oils is one of them uh, that is really helpful balance um, is my favorite because I can feel it physically calm the my whole body and I just go <sighs> okay I can deal with this and um, so whichever it doesn't matter which one you're using just pick your favorite and use it all the time or go different ones, however you want to do it. Um, other ones that you can try are lavender, Roman chamomile, frankincense, or any wood oil like cypress or black spruce or Siberian fir. Um, those are, all the wood oils are really, really, they're just really calming and helping you. Uh, they help ground you to the situation and so that you know that you can handle it rather than than, um, you know, buckling under the pressure. And then um, an, my one of my favorite hacks for relaxation, which you can use your oils with this, is deep breathing techniques. Um, I read this book a long time ago, and I think it was called Slow Down Diet, and that's where I learned about the um, parasympathetic versus sympathetic modes of stress in your on your body and what your body's doing while they're while it's in that whichever mode so if you are eating during um when you're eating under when you're in uh, sympathetic mode when you're stressing and you eat then your body is stressed and it's holding on it's trying to hold on to whatever you give it just to protect itself um, so deep breathe while you eat and that's what this book taught me was to breathe deeply with each bite and that just breathing itself tells your body to relax when we're stressed we take short shallow breaths when we're relaxed it's much easier to breathe and fill our lungs with the oxygen oxygen feeds our body um in and it just it anyway we are so conditioned to be in stress mode these days um so you just want really want to be mindful and take the time to breathe. <laughs> so each bite, um, you know, do that while you're, while you're chewing or, um, you know, commit to take a deep breath in between each bite that you take before you put more food into your mouth. Um, use your breath to relax during mealtimes is the best way to tell your body that you're safe. Okay, so let's make an everything roller. Um, like I mentioned, the um, copaiba is really great for the nervous system. And let me just check for comments really quickly. I don't want to miss out. I hope I'm not missing them. Because last time I, um, okay, I don't see any coming in. Uh, last time I did this, or last week, I got off my video and I had like 20 comments and I had missed all of them. Okay, so um, Copaiba, like I mentioned, is great for the nervous system. So let's make a roller with just Copaiba. I'm going to use um, 10 drops of Copaiba in a 5 milliliter bottle. 
and I've already got my label on there so that it doesn't get um, oil in there and not want to stick. Okay, so there's my 10 drops. I'm just using Copaiba because it's got really great benefits. And this one is going to be, Copaiba, since it's working on your digestive system, it's really affecting so many different parts of your body. I need a towel. <laughs> It is, um, this one leaks, so I have to be careful. So this one's going to be great for your digestive, your urinary tract, your respiratory, your emotional, of course, uh, your aches and discomforts, cardiovascular, hormones, collagen, skin, and liver. So it's going to support all of that. So that's why I called it the um, Everything Roller. And um, Copaiba also, don't forget, is an endocannabinoid. Uh, well, not Copaiba itself, but it contains an endocannabinoid called berry, um, beta caryophylline, which is BC, um, sorry, yes, BCP. <laughs> and BCP is very similar. It works on your pain receptors the same exact way as CBD oil does. Okay, so this one, um, we can put it on, um, you can roll it on your stomach for digestive, urinary, you can roll it on your lungs. It's really great for coughs um, and opening up your airways uh, at, the, at, the, at the nerve level, not necessarily opening your airways, but opening your nerves and encouraging your nerves to, you know, exciting them to w function better. Um, so you can roll it on your stomach for that, on your lungs. You can roll it on your temples for emotional, on the back of your neck or on your wrists for that. Um, aches or discomforts, you can put it right on the spot. But uh, like I said, it, it's good to take it internally as well. Roll it on your heart for cardiovascular. I'm going to do that right now because every time I eat a meal lately, my heart likes to beat a little bit extra. So I'm going to put that on right now. Uh, it's going to be helpful for hormones, collagen production, skin. You can put it any um, on any type of skin issue and uh, liver support. So you can put it on over your liver, which is on your right hand side, um, just below your ribs and you can put it on the bottoms of your feet morning and night. You can do that if you don't like the flavor, but either way, you can put it under a drop under your tongue or roll it on the bottoms of your feet. So I'm gonna go put this one by my bed, and so I have it there for nighttime and morning every time I wake up and go to bed. Okay, so next let's talk about detoxification. This is really important for weight loss. If you do not cleanse, if you have not done a cleanse or detoxified in any way in any, at any time, <laughs> um, then it's going to be more important for you. Um, there's Deline. I see a comment came through. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't show up last time I was doing this. Anyway. Okay. So um, if you don't do a regular um, cleanse or use oils to detox daily, then your body uh, will build up heavy metals and other toxins um, and they get stored in your fat cells. So you will have, if that happens, if you are feeling really sluggish, have no energy, if you generally feel icky, um, if your mood is low, or um, then you probably need to detox at least some of that out. And there's lots of things that you can do to help detox. I'm just going to talk about a few. Uh, the adrenal glands, again, those triangular, triangular shaped um, um, glands be above your kidneys, uh, produce cortisol to respond to stress, but they are also where you hold stress and they can get stressed out. So um, one way to tell if, you, if your adrenals are stressed is if you get up in the morning 
and that first bit of weight that you put on your feet, if your feet hurt, that's telling you that your adrenals are stressed. And so it's a really great, great time to do a de detox or use oils um, in different ways to um, get and to support your adrenal glands. Um, in my opinion, the best oil to support the adrenals is Zendocrine. And um, it's, this is the detoxification blend. And not only the adrenals, but it's helpful for the liver and the kidneys and all of your other um, detox, or um, your other, um, what are they called? <laughs> your organs that have to do with getting stuff out of your body. Um, not only Zendocrine, but also lemon oil are gonna be your top two oils that you wanna use. And um, my favorite way to use Zendocrine is in a roller. And I'll show you how to make one of those in just a second. Um, but putting lemon in your, in your water every day is really important. Um, and it's super simple and it's not expensive. And then some other oils that you can try are any of the citrus oils are going to be detoxing. And so we're just putting that in your water and drinking lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water every day is going to be so important. And I forgot to mention that on here <clears throat> um, is that drinking water is so important. Um, you can also try uh, cilantro oil, celery seed oil, juniper, was it juniper seed? No, juniper berry. It's juniper berry oil and fennel. And um, in addition to all of those, I mean, you can put those in your, oil, in your water and it only just do one or two drops at a time, or you can make a roller with all of them and just roll it on the bottoms of your feet every night. Um, you want to be careful with, um, with them because they can be kind of strong and might encourage, uh, you know, release of what's in your colon. <laughs> so if that's what you're looking for, then, then be, by all means, go ahead. But if you want more gentle than that, just put a drop or two in your water. Um, let's see. In addition, it's really important to make sure your digestive system is functioning tip top shape. And the best way to do that is with probiotics and digestive enzymes. So your probiotics, you just need once a day and you want to get a really good quality one that can make it past your stomach acids because those, um, that, that friendly bacteria, that friendly flora is what they call it. Um, sometimes doesn't make it through that, that strong stomach acid. So you want to get a really good quality one. Ours is double encapsulated so that it can, make it through there and get to where it's needed in your low, um, lower GI tract for um, so that all that flora can do their jobs and help you digest and help you, um, you know, your digestive system is, your, your digestion is a huge part of the immune system even, and it affects the way you think. Um, they call it the second brain. Um, so it's really important that you just really give really good attention to your digestive system, even if you feel like you have good digestion. Uh, the other thing is digestive enzymes. Oh, um, our probiotics is called PB Assist Plus, by the way. And then our digestive enzymes is called Terrazyme. And those, I'm sure you've heard me talking before about how important it is for um, not only digestion, but for other functions of your body. We make two, we have two different kinds of enzymes in our body, the digestive enzymes and the metabolic enzymes. And if you're trying to lose weight, um, you want to make sure that you have, that your body is able to make those metabolic enzymes, you know, efficiently. If your digestion is off even a little bit, then your body will concentrate on trying to digest and trying to make more digestive enzymes and it'll stop making those metabolic enzymes for that time. So you want to give it the, what it needs so that it doesn't have to work so darn hard. 
Um, and then the metabolic enzymes are responsible for so many functions in our body. And we even have enzymes, those enzymes in our joints. So if you have pain while you're exercising, you might consider increasing your digestive enzyme intake because that will help as well. And, um, and then, oh, let's see, where was I? Oh, and then you can try... Um, other the other Zendocrine products are um, the soft gels, which is just the oil in a soft gel form, um, or you can put this in your water. And um, the herbal complex, which is in a white bottle, uh, it ha it's made with whole foods, and so it doesn't have any of the oils in it. So it works. It's a complementary. They work together and really help with, I really like the herbal complex and they're always sold out. So just, if you get a chance to try it, make sure you try it. And then it also comes in the cleanse and restore kit. So you can get it there if they're sold out elsewhere. Okay, so let's make a detox roller. Now what I'm going to do, I'm really excited about this. So what I'm gonna do, uh, you wanna use 10 drops in a five milliliter roller of your Zendocrin. And uh, I keep a roller of Zendocrine by my bed um, and I use it every single night. Sometimes I'll use it in the morning too. Well, I should use it in the morning, but sometimes I forget. And, uh, but every night I put it on these lymph nodes right here and I always wake up in a really good mood the next morning when I do that. But I also will put it on the bottoms of my feet. I'll put it over my liver. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, livers, yeah, livers right here. I put it over my liver and over the adrenals and it's really supportive for those um those organs and helping you work out your stress it's helping you detox your stress stuff so instead of a five milliliter roller i'm taking my 15 milliliter roller of the rest of the zendocrine that i have left <laughs> and i ordered more so um i'm going to just fill up my bottle with I'm going to take my little lid off here. If you don't have one of these little um, orifice removers, if you're one of my customers, you probably have one because I probably put gave it to you in a goodie, goodie bag. But you can take this and you take the side thing. I use this circle one to put the roller top on. And then you can use this side thing uh, to get the orifice cap off. Now I'm just going to fill up my bottle with coconut oil without spilling, hopefully. And I probably didn't have quite enough Zendocrine in there, so I'm going to leave a little room for um, when I get my new bottle <clears throat> so that I can put a few more drops in there. But um, now I got these special tops. These are so cool. And you can go to um, your oil tools. Maybe I'll, I'll, find a, um, I'll find a link and I'll put, add it to the description and then you can go straight to it. But anyway, these are special roller tops that fit right into your doTERRA bottles. And of course my Oh, that's not, that's not fitting. Hmm. Well, it's supposed to fit. All right. Well, anyway, I will figure out what happened there. Because I have, I, I have, I've done this before with my, um, it's probably, you know what it is. These are hand blown. These, um, bought the doTERRA bottles are hand blown and, uh, glass. And so they're each going to be different. So what I'm going to do is just hold off on that and I'll just transfer that into a roller bottle. And um, anyway, I have done it before with my vetiver roller for sleep. So anyway, that was supposed to work better than it did. <laughs> it is what it is. Such is life, I guess. Okay. Um, next, let's see. So that's your detox roller. This one you're gonna roll over your liver, adrenals, 
lymph nodes and bottoms of the feet morning and evening for, and this is going to help you with weight, thyroid, hormones, and organ cleansing. So let's move on to our tip number three, and that is nutrition. Of course, you're going to eat healthier while you're dieting, trying to lose weight, but even if we're careful with what we put into our bodies and intentional with our diet, we might not be getting enough of, uh, you know, certain nutrients. So it's really important that you make sure you're using quality, trustworthy supplements um, to add to your the food that you're already eating. Um, they're finding that most people, especially in the United States, aren't getting what their body needs nutrition-wise. Like, like 80% of people are not getting what they need. So, um, of course, you want to use the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And um, the, this one is really important. And again, our, um, our stuff is made with uh, whole foods. All of our supplements are made with whole foods. So your body knows what to do with it. It's none of it's synthetic. And so it, um, and your body doesn't know what to do with synthetic things. So it just tries to get it out or it holds on to it and, and builds a wall around it. <laughs> so this contains your um, omega, um, omega, what, I'm sorry, omega fatty acids. Uh, none of us get enough of those, and those they're so important for brain health and for healthy functioning of the body. Um, it also contains your vitamins and minerals in the, um, the um, Microplex VMZ. And then your alpha CRS is for cellular health. Um, let's see. And then you can, these work in conjunct, uh, in combination with each other. Uh, it's designed to be a whole, whole thing together, but you can take them one at a time if you want to. Um, and then they're going to just complement everything that you eat. They're just going to help your body deal with it better and absorb better. Your digestive enzymes the terrazyme really helps you absorb whatever nutrition you're getting. It helps your body absorb more of it. Um, and then the other thing is doTERRA's new nutrition line. Uh, this is really exciting. And some of the things have already been sold out. So they, of course, are also made with whole foods, nothing synthetic or toxic. So um, you're getting whole nutrition. Okay, so let's talk about the things that you, the nutrition that you need while you're trying to lose weight. Protein. Yes, of course, protein. Um, protein is an important macronutrient and crucial for building muscle, managing appetite, and helping the body recover after workouts. Protein is also necessary to provide the body with energy and stamina to perform functions like building cells and support a healthy immune system response. Read. In, and I didn't put this as a separate thing, but reducing con uh, sugar consumption is obviously a no-brainer uh, and super important for <clears throat> losing weight. And, um, and, and it's an important aspect of improving your diet. They are showing, and I don't know if you've ever really paid attention to your food cravings, um, but if you are eating sugar and you're eating fat, like unhealthy fats, and you're eating carbs, uh, you know, um, salty, sweet, and fat are what causes your body to crave. So if you're eating those things, your body is going to want more of those things. And that's why we gain weight. Um, oops. <clears throat> so try to cut out sugar and then... While you're doing these things, don't over, don't do more than what your body can handle at one time. Cut out one thing at a time and then stick to it and then add something else to it. Don't overdo it because then you're going to feel like you are um, deprived and then you'll be in stress mode and that's going to ruin your, it's just going to ruin everything. Hi Chiquita, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, so, um, our, for, in the doTERRA nutrition line, the new no, uh, nutrition line, they have the protein, um, supplement. It, well, it's not really supplement. It's a protein shake. And so it's sugar-free and it's a great tool to use in a keto or other high protein, low carb diet. Um, fiber number two is a fantastic man, uh, macronutrient that supports many healthy functions within the body. 
not just the digestive system, including the cardiovascular and the immune system, and it also helps to control your appetite. So fad diets are a popular trend, and uh, most focus on consuming high amounts of protein and low carbs, and you're missing out on all aspects of what can be really helpful for you if you're if you're not getting enough um, fiber. So those diets they work for a little while, but they're not sustainable, um, and that and they can actually wreak havoc on. I mean, they're just not sustainable. Your body can't go forever that way. Uh, according to the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, even with a healthy diet, most people only get half the amount of fiber they need. And the FDA recommends 25 to 38 grams of dietary fiber every day. And that's a lot of raw vegetables and bowls of oatmeal. <laughs> that <laughs> That's a lot. Um, one serving of doTERRA's new fiber um, supplement provides six grams of soluble and insoluble fiber. It also has lemon essential oil, natural vitamin C, and a unique prebiotic blend. Prebiotics are food that feed your um, probiotics, your healthy gut bacteria. Prebiotics are... Um, Generally, if you think of root vegetables like carrots, parsnips, um, turnips, those kinds of things, beets, they are all really great food for the healthy gut flora in your, um, in your digestive system. And it's really important to keep you, those little bugs happy. So you want to make sure to be getting good prebiotics. And if you're like me and you can't stand the flavor of beets, which you're never going to eat again because I, I've tried them so many times and I still can't like them, it's okay. I'd much rather get it in uh, something that has that in there that I can't taste <laughs> than eat a beet. Whew. Um, fruits and vegetables, of course, then of last, are incredibly important, as we all know, for a healthy body functioning because... Um, because of the nutrition that they provide, vitamins and minerals, of course. There are many reasons you may not be getting the recommended amount of vegetables and fruits in your diet. It's expensive. Uh, preparation time can be, con uh, it can be con time consuming, or you might feel unsure of how much you really need to eat. Um, and then, of course, I know a lot of people <laughs> who simply just refuse to eat vegetables, and I'm sure that they um, they are really needing a lot of help in that area. So it, it's great to have a supplement on hand that um, can give you what you're lacking. Or maybe fill in that thing that you don't like. So yeah, Chiquita doesn't like beets either. <laughs> um, so doTERRA Greens was uh, created to supplement your fruit and vegetable intake with responsibly sourced wholesome ingredients. Yes, they are organic. Um, <laughs> they are not marked organic because all of the practices that doTERRA does with all of the oils are, um, they do also with their food, the nutrition line. And, um, it is really expensive to, um, get the organic symbol on uh, and be certified organic on stuff. So their practices that they're already doing would satisfy the organic uh, certification, but they chose not to get the certification on the bags of um, these uh, supplements because of the increased costs, and then that would increase the cost to us, the, the consumer. And so um, just know that they are organic and they are responsibly sourced and they are giving you exactly what you need. Um, if you know somebody who is wanting to um, lose weight or, you know, get healthy, make sure to tell them about doTERRA stuff because that, um, because of how good quality they are and help them to understand the difference between quality products and not quality products and what those other products are doing to your body. It's, it's really not good if you're putting something in your body that you think is healthy <clears throat> and then you're getting something that's not healthy in with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's talk about my last tip is for increasing your metabolism naturally. 
Uh, there's many things you can do to turn up the heat, so to speak, in your body's fat burning furnace. Uh, exercising two to three hours a day isn't one of them. It's much better to um, do like little big bursts in uh, throughout the day. So like um, do like five little, well, even three 10 minute bursts of really high intensity activity um, just for 10 minutes and then go about your day. And then a little while later, do another 10 minutes and then another little while, do another 10 minutes. This is going to be really, really helpful for your body. It's going to keep your body on its toes, of course. Um, it's really great for increasing your energy. And <clears throat> the biggest thing is being motivated to do it. So use your oils to help you motivate, um, to keep you motivated um, into doing those things. Balance is grounding, so it's going to help you get, you know, stay productive. Motivate is going to help. A passion is going to help. Um, your uh, ele elevation is really helpful for that. Those kinds of oils are going to be really... Uh, peppermint also is energizing and motivating. Um, so killing yourself with overlong workouts is actually going to put your body into a self-protection mode. It's going to work against you um, and won't help your weight loss. Exercising, yes, is important. Over-exercising is harmful. And just ask me. I know I did it. <laughs> I used to do, I used to work out an hour in the morning and then I'd go for two and three hour walks in the evening. And uh, I just, I overdid it. It was just too much. Then I got to where like if I would work out more than half an hour, my body was just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And when you feel that way, you know you're overdoing it. <laughs> Some oils to increase metabolism include uh, Slim and Sassy, which I have completely ran out of, but you can get the soft gels. And I keep these I keep these in my purse, I keep them in my kitchen, and I have some on my desk here, so I have them with me wherever I am. <laughs> um, uh, you can use ginger, cinnamon. Ginger and cinnamon are both hot oils, and clove is a hot oil. You can use that one as well. Um, and what, uh, let's see. Yeah. Cinnamon and ginger. What was I reading? Oh, cinnamon is really great for your blood sugar, keeping your blood sugar even. So if you are, um, you know, concerned with diabetes in your family or whatever, and you want to, um, support your body that way, um, it puts some cinnamon into your, uh, daily regimen. Cinnamon and honey actually work hand in hand for helping your blood sugar stay even. And I'm going to put some cinnamon and grapefruit in my water right now. I'm going to do two drops each. Maybe. <laughs> of course, there's the tiniest bit left and I won't be able to get any out. There's one, there's two, okay. <clears throat> I think I have an extra that I ordered. I'm not sure, I might need to order some more. And grapefruit, I'm gonna do three because I like a lot. And I think this, I'm not sure, I think this is a, um, I don't know how big this is. Maybe 20 ounces, I'm not sure. And this I'm calling um, the Belly Buster Shot, and I'll put this recipe in the description. So this is a Belly Buster Shot, and you can make a roller. Mmm, mm, that's yummy. I haven't done that blend before. That's really good. It's not too spicy. Mmm. I can see that being like motivating too because of the cinnamon in there and then the grapefruit is uplifting. Okay, so we're going to make a roller with that. But before I do that, um, I wanted to put just talk about um, water intake. Water intake is really important. You want to have, you want to drink half of your body weight in ounces at least per day. Half of your body weight. So um, for me, that would be... Um, 
oh, I don't know. I have to do math. I'm going to say 70 ounces of um, water a day. That's a little more than half. And uh, so that's over a gallon. And when you do that, you're helping flush all of those toxins out. You're helping your um, you're helping flush out fat cells that you're getting rid of. You're helping your um, body stay hydrated, your skin stay hydrated. I mean, there's so many things that water helps, and a lot of people just don't get enough water. So make sure to put your oils in your water. You can do lemon. You can do the citrus. I mean, your um, your cinnamon and grapefruit. You can do slim and sassy. One of my favorites is just lemon and peppermint. Um, that's one I usually do um, a lot. And then sometimes I'll do lemon, peppermint, and on guard. So I like to mix it up and do different ones. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's make the belly buster. Um, let's go ahead and make the belly buster. Um, oh, wait. I wanted to talk about this other one. I have another roller that you can make or shot that you can do. Um, the it's called appetite and metabolism roller. So this one is just slim and sassy, which I ran out of, so I can't make my roller, but <clears throat> you can do a roller of 10 drops each or 10 drops of slim and sassy in your five milliliter roller and then fill it with your coconut oil and rub that on your, roll it on your stomach two to three times a day and just rolling it on your stomach. If you don't like the flavor of slim and sassy, maybe, you can make this roller and it's going to help your digestion. It's going to help turn up that, you know, your metabolic furnace, basically. And I was wrong. The cinnamon and grapefruit <clears throat> shot is not the belly buster. It is the appetite and metabolism shot. So sorry to confuse, but I'm going to put all of these on the, the, um, the description. So I also have recipes here for belly busting. Uh, roller and shot. The shot is uh, you could put lemon and grapefruit in this throughout the day. So like I was mentioning, you could put whatever oils you want in your water. But let's make um, a roller and I'm going to do this one. I already have my label on and I'm making this in a 10 milliliter. So uh, you're going to do 10 drops each, lemon, cypress, and grapefruit. Cypress is really great for the urinary tract, actually. And bones. It's great for bones. <laughs> Grapefruit and lemon, of course, are citrus oils, and they're going to be uplifting to the mood and helpful for detoxing. And, um, and... And can be really helpful for weight loss too. Okay. And then we just want to put in our coconut oil. And this one I'm going to roll on my belly daily. Uh, roll, it says roll problem areas morning and evening. <clears throat> and I think they're talking about cellulite. Um, you can also use cinnamon in here to help with your cellulite as well. Obviously I've ran out. Okay. All right. So this one, uh, real problem areas, morning and evening. Oh, Chiquita has a question. What would white grapefruit be okay for roller blind? Absolutely. Yes. White grapefruit has all the same um, benefits as regular grapefruit. It's just white. That's all. That's the only difference. All right, so that is our, um, I made a little mess here, of course. I didn't do too bad. I didn't 
drop anything this time. I got some drop drips on my keyboard, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so this one I'm gonna roll it on my stomach um, morning and evening. So I'm gonna bring this one with me downstairs too. And I'm gonna find a top for my Zendocrine roller. That's really sad that that thing didn't work. Maybe I have a different one that might fit in there. Um, okay. That's it. That's what I have for you guys tonight. The um, four tips of um, relaxation, detoxification, nutrition, and increasing your metabolism naturally. So look for those recipes that we made. Um, I will put those in the description in the video. And next week, what's next week? Next week I have on the schedule, we're going to talk about toxin-free cleaning and a healthy home. Um, that was the third thing that, um, let's see, people, I had the um, poll going in our group. Um, you're welcome, Jackie. I'm glad to help. I love bringing this information to you guys. I, when did I do that poll? That's been a while. I should have left it at the top, I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the top ones were, oh, decluttering your home. So I wanted to do um, toxin-free cleaning and healthy home so you can use these recipes while you're decluttering your home. Uh, my goal this week was to get my pantry cleaned and I didn't stick to it. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't stick to it as much as I wanted to, but I did do a big clean on it. I just didn't finish the deep cleaning, if you know what I mean. I didn't take everything out and put everything back in in an organized fashion the way I really wanted to, but maybe I can get to that this weekend because I still have it on for this whole week. So I got time. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so uh, that's next Tuesday. Um, I'm having, uh, just to go off into a totally different tangent right now, I'm having some trouble uh, thinking about um, there's there's lots of news going on about big tech censoring and shutting things down and so I'm looking <clears throat> I'm looking at other avenues that I may um, I may I'm actually even considering just completely deleting my Facebook altogether and that would mean deleting this group so I don't want to leave you guys hanging I have <clears throat> places where we can go. I just want to find one that is trustworthy. And um, I also, I would also love to chat with you guys about it <clears throat> um, to see what your thoughts are on it. Because if I don't have to delete this group, I don't want to because I've got so much information in here. <clears throat> and it is proving really difficult to download the information and upload it onto another platform. So, yes, Chiquita, I will just let you know where I go. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to overthink it as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and build, I'm going to go ahead and build another thing. Um, I'm going to be over on Gab. Uh, is it Gab.com? gab.com and uh, so I will um, post the link for that in here I don't have any information on there right now so <laughs> why don't I wait Deline if I wait and see what happens what if something happens when I'm not ready and all of this is disappeared so it's not a, I don't feel like I should wait and see what happens I want to be prepared but I do understand what you're talking about <laughs> Um, so let's see, uh, um, yeah, okay, I think that's all I have, and I will post all of this information in the, in the, uh, description of the video so you can be making your recipes and stuff. Okay, I love you all. Have a lovely evening. Good night.